Food poisoning is also known as foodborne illness and this is caused by several microorganisms which results in diarrhea and abdominal discomfort. In this video, we'll talk about the symptoms, diagnosis and the treatment of food poisoning. Let's talk about the symptoms which includes abdominal cramp, dysuria or lumbar pain, diarrhea, nausea or vomiting sensation, headache, fever, weakness and loss of appetite. In case of extreme cases of food poisoning, there could be fever which is more than 102 degree Fahrenheit, there could be diarrhea which lasts longer than 3 days. In extreme cases, there could be difficulty in seeing or speaking, severe dehydration and bloody urine. But things doesn't turn out to be so bad and these are only some extreme situations. If we talk about the pathology of food poisoning, the most common causative agents are bacteria, sometimes viruses and in most rare cases there could be parasites as well. Now every year a lot of people who are traveling all across the world experience this kind of food poisoning and travelers diarrhea while they kind of sample food from the local stores and local uh, street food. So it is caused by eating contaminated food with these microorganisms or drinking some water which is contaminated with viruses or parasites let's say. You have the increased chance of developing a food poisoning and traveler diarrhea, especially if you are visiting from a western world to the developing countries. So the things, the climates, the sanitary practices all are pretty different. That means the exposure to microorganism is higher in these cases, which might lead to development of food poisoning. Now let us talk about the name of those bacteria which are most common for food poisoning. It involves Escherichia coli which is also present in our own alimentary canal and this is a bacteria which is kind of friendly but sometimes some species of these Escherichia coli can also cause food poisoning. Other than Campylobacter jejuni, Salmonella, Clostridium, then there is Listeria, Staphylococcus and Shigella along with Salmonella can cause food poisoning. Among all of these bacteria, the most common cause, the most common bacteria involves Salmonella, Shigella, Campylobacter and Clostridium. Now Campylobacter jejuni is the leading cause of foodborne disease in United States. Now it's also, it transfers by uh, touching a contaminated stool or by eating some food which might be contaminated with these Campylobacter jejuni bacteria. It causes severe discomfort in the intestinal part and that can lead to several problems. Next candidate is Shigella. Shigella selectively destroy the mucosal lining of the large intestine that leads to the bloody diarrhea. That means blood in your stool. Chances of shigellosis or shigella borne food poisoning is very common in case of old and young people because they have relatively weaker immune system. Clostridium perfringens is another bacteria which is a severe cause of food borne illness. Clostridium perfringens can form endospores. Endospores are resistant to heat. That means even in the cooked food, they can still be there. And it's a leading cause of food poisoning in USA. CDC estimates that this bacteria can cause nearly 1 million of cases in United States every year. And Clostridium perfringens are mostly found in raw meat and poultry products. Now, in all of these bacterial infections, the toxins present in the bacteria might lead to this kind of discomfort that anybody experiences, the abdominal cramp and all these, and all these uh, GI tract discomforts. Now, let's talk about the viruses as a cause of these uh, food poisoning. There are many viruses reported to cause food poisoning such as norovirus, rotavirus, astrovirus, sapovirus and hepatitis A virus. Among them, most common ones are the norovirus and in USA alone, there are 2500 reported norovirus outbreak cases and anyway, there is a particular season where norovirus mediated food poisoning is really really common. In rare occasions, there could be parasites as well which might lead to food poisoning and these parasites includes uh, 
Toxoplasma, Tinea, and many others. But among all of these parasites, Tinea saginata and Tinea solium are the most common ones. So, uncooked beef, uncooked pork, or uncooked fish might have these tapeworms, which might lead to food poisoning and other abdominal problems. Question is, how long does the food poisoning last? It can last from few hours to few weeks. But in most common cases, all the symptoms are resolved within a week of time. The diagnosis is pretty simple. If you have symptoms like vomiting, nausea and abdominal cramps, most likely you got a food poisoning. But in extreme cases, you might need a blood test, stool test or urine test along with the food that you have eaten. Treatment option includes several uh, antibiotics. So obviously there are several symptoms associated with bacterial, uh, the bacterial Food poisoning is most common and the symptoms can be relieved with the help of uh, antibiotics and you can put ORS because a lot of fluid is lost during this uh, diarrhea. That means replenishing that fluid is really important and diarrhea is key cause of death in many developing countries. So all the bacteria would be resolved if we treat it with antibiotic. But in some cases when the infection is not caused by the bacteria then there are no other options. For example, in case of viral uh, infections that cause to that cause uh, food poisoning, that generally heals up on its own, and it takes like two to three days, sometimes a week. In several, in case of protozoal diarrhea, things might take a little bit longer. But anyway, overall, these food poisoning and its symptoms are highly treatable. We should not ignore food poisoning, but we should not also get scared with food poisoning. So many notes and flashcards are associated associated with these videos are found in my Facebook page. Follow my Facebook page where you get many dynamic flashcards. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can support me on Patreon.